So the police and the court system got to do their job and they crooked as hell anyway. But then at the same time, on top of that, if that man wrong and he really hurt this woman in his way, God going to take care of this man. I just don't like how the media and the fans, they trying to like they send this man it. to jail, yeah. do the police work, or they trying to send this man to hell, do God work. It's, they going to they gonna do whatever they going to do. But if that man keep getting out, why y'all going to keep saying that? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But if he my cousin, like I know he my cousin, and I know how, how he, mm -hmm. like he not rocking like that. Like he probably did all that other stuff, but it's one thing he didn't do. But since it's a repeat, Louisiana not playing with you, bro. Somebody gonna, gonna say that on him, and they gonna come pick him up, and they gonna ask questions later. Yep. Like I said, he gonna, if he wind up being a the charge, they still can't lock him up. He still lost money. He still lost this. He still lost that. And it is what it is. But at the same time, like I said, bro, they got to go to trial. She got to hold up to what she said. Yep. I don't trust females. And then so, so, the, so the police and the court system got to do their job, and they crooked as hell anyway. But then at the same time, on top of that, if that man wrong and he really hurt this woman in his way, God going to take care of this man. I just don't like how the media and the fans, they trying to, like, they send this man it. to jail, yeah. do the police work, or they trying to send this man to hell, do God work. It's, they gon' they gon' do whatever they gon' do, but if that man keep getting out, why y'all gonna keep saying that? Well, we got first. He got to get out. Yeah, he ain't well, out. Yet. He ain't out right now. So there, that's the issue. Until but, but he's, he's in the, he's in jail in Louisiana. They're not like, gonna let him out. He innocent to prove guilty. Hey, it seems like he guilty like until they get that's him. That's what I was just saying. Like like you know what I mean? They they coming for him. See, listen, I'm gonna say y'all don't even know the second and the third time when a woman come out and say you did something the whole Me Too movement gonna come to you. They gonna come to you with money. They gonna come to you with gifts. They gonna come to you trying to get the real scoop and the real story. And now if they sense any type of BS in your story, they gonna bag up off it. In a Me Too movement, they bag, they bag up off the victim. Mm -hmm. Like a R. Kelly, yeah. the Me Too movement ain't bag up off the victim. They, 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 st they stood coming. on their word. They carried out a whole coming. documentary. Yeah, All this stuff was going through. With, with, with cuz, if you just really pay attention to what's going on, even the things that's been speculated, even like the $100 thing, like Yo. that man pass out $100 like flyers to a free concert, bro. That man ain't, ain't one for no money. Now, I ain't saying he don't indulge in certain activities and there might have been something in that $100 and he couldn't find it and he flashed out about that. Yeah. But we playing with this R word, that's something different. Well, Mac talked about the way that the just the, the criminal justice system is down in Louisiana, and and he had a lot to say about it. Uh -huh. You know, um, he did twenty one years for a crime that he didn't commit. That's what I'm saying. And he says that basically because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, they was able to give him a false uh, charge. You know, That's exactly. this place. My dad, my mom, aunts, uncles, cousins. It was a gang of us in this place. And uh, somewhere after midnight, a fight broke out between one of my cousins and some people uh, and some guy in the club. Well, this fight resulted in the shooting death of one of these young men. And I left the place and went home. Went home not knowing if someone was even shot because I would later learn that someone, someone was actually shot and subsequently died. I would later learn that when the police arrived at my my uh, my house. You know what I'm saying? I just heard a gunshot, rolled out, and um, I didn't know if I didn't know who was shooting or if in fact I was the target of the shooter. Of course, I didn't know. Yeah, right. So I felt that initially they thought they were going to investigate the right person because I pulled a gun out in the club. Okay, when I oh, heard okay. the shot. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I ran toward the door looking for my mom. So, so they I saw think that, that yeah. I think that witnesses told him he had a gun. And he was, was running. You know. So I think that when they came to get me, they thought they was arresting the right person. Mm -hmm. But somewhere in between the interrogation room and the um so at some point during the interrogation, I believe that they realized they had the wrong person. Wow. Exactly my cousin's situation. 
So it's it's just like Louisiana is a, is a little bit different than everywhere else. Most definitely, it's a lot different than everywhere else. They're not playing with you. They 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 are trying to lock us up. That's so that's what they want to do. Why wouldn't you change and get out from down there if if you know that these police is acting like that? I mean, to be honest with you, cause a loving person, so he want to take care of everything and everybody around him. And I'm gonna say this: that first time it came from the outside, that second time it came from the outside, being at the wrong place at the wrong time. I feel like he was getting his life right, and that could never come from the outside no more. And this third time, it came from the inside. He didn't see that coming. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.